Welcome dear friends. In this video, we will study about binomial nomenclature. Carolus Linnaeus has been considered as the father of taxonomy because he dwelt a way to name and organize species that we still use today. In binomial nomenclature, by means to nomial means names and nomenclature means system of naming. Thus, binomial nomenclature is the two-term naming system. For example, the scientific name of frog is Rana tigrina, where Rana is genus and tigrina is species. Now, let's see the salient features of binomial nomenclature. The scientific names are unique, understood and followed all over the world. A two name system of writing scientific names are genus name written first and always capitalized, species name written second and always small. Moreover, both parts of the name should be italicized in print and underlined when handed. This is done to specify its Latin origin. And the binomial system is accepted internationally. There are separate codes for naming plants, animals and microorganisms. Now the need for scientific names. Common vernacular names for the same plant or animal vary from region to region. For example, the cat we know as Billy in Hindi is known by different names in other states of India and in other countries. Moreover, the common name may be used for different kinds of animals for example, Quechua is used for both earthworm and Ascaris. And some common names are misleading also. For example, jellyfish, cuttlefish, starfish and silverfish are called fishes whereas they are not. Hence, a system of universal scientific naming was developed. Now, what do these images have in common? Yes. All are living things. In the hierarchy, the topmost category is kingdom. Kingdoms are split into phyla. Each phylum is divided into classes, classes into order, order into family, family into genus, and genus into species, where kingdom is the largest level and very general. That is more number of organisms and less in similarity and species is the lowest level and very specific that is less in number and more in similarity now let's study the scientific name of tiger in this tiger belongs to kingdom animalia a group that includes all animals so in our group of organisms the tree is eliminated. Next level is phylum and the tiger fits into phylum caudata. This is the group that includes organisms with backbone. So worm is eliminated from this group. Now the next level of the category is class mammalia means the mammals that have hair and fur. The fish will be removed as it's not a mammal and the next level of this category is order carnivora it means flesh eating animal and here deer is herbivora as it is a plant eating animal so it is removed next level is family felidae felidae means Organisms having retractable claws and here bear does not have retractable claws so it is removed from our group of organisms. Next level is genus and tiger belongs to genus Panthera and Panthera means the organisms that roars and here cat purrs so it is eliminated and the next level of category is 
species tigris and lion does not belong to this category so lion will be eliminated from this and hence the scientific name tiger is panthera tigris panthera is genus tigris is species unscramble the words given from this video and answer it in the comment box that's all in this video thanks for watching and don't forget to like share comment subscribe and hit the bell icon